Have you ever wondered about the power of dreams and their interpretations, especially those that shape the course of history? Well, in the heart of ancient Egypt, a story unfolds that has echoed through the ages. Genesis chapter 41 begins with Pharaoh, the powerful ruler of Egypt, plagued by two unsettling dreams that shook him to his core. In the dead of night, he dreamt of seven healthy cows being devoured by seven gaunt ones, and then seven healthy ears of grain swallowed up by seven thin and blighted ones. These visions left Pharaoh in a state of unease, and his heart heavy with foreboding. In those ancient times, dreams were considered divine messages carrying significant meanings. They were not taken lightly, especially when they invaded the sleep of a ruler, but none of Pharaoh's magicians or wise men could decipher these ominous visions. The court was abuzz with confusion and concern. Enter Joseph, a Hebrew prisoner with a unique gift. Joseph, who had been thrown into prison for a crime he did not commit, had a reputation for interpreting dreams. And so, when Pharaoh was troubled by his own dreams, it was the cupbearer who remembered Joseph's unique gift. The cupbearer, who had once been the beneficiary of Joseph's insight, suggested that this Hebrew prisoner might hold the key to understanding Pharaoh's disturbing visions. Brought before the great Pharaoh, Joseph found himself in a world far removed from the confines of his prison cell. Here he was asked to make sense of the dreams that had left Egypt's ruler in a state of unease. In the dreams, seven fat, healthy cows were devoured by seven lean, sickly cows. Similarly, seven robust ears of grain were swallowed up by seven thin, scorched ears. The dreams were vivid, disturbing and utterly perplexing, but Joseph, guided by divine wisdom, was not perplexed. He understood that the dreams were not just dreams, but divine warnings. He explained to Pharaoh that the seven fat cows and the seven healthy ears of grain represented seven years of abundance. Egypt would see harvest like never before, with grain filling the storehouses to the brim. But this period of plenty was not meant to last. The seven lean cows and the seven scorched ears of grain were a chilling prophecy of the seven years of famine that would follow. The land would become barren, the Nile would fail to flood, and the grain in the storehouses would dwindle. Joseph's interpretation brought clarity to Pharaoh's dreams, but more than that, it brought a solution. Joseph suggested that during the years of abundance, a fifth of the harvest should be stored away. This grain could then be used to feed the people of Egypt during the lean years that were to follow. He advised Pharaoh to find a wise and discerning man to oversee this task. With this interpretation, Joseph didn't just bring understanding, he brought a solution. Impressed by Joseph's wisdom and interpretation, Pharaoh does something unexpected. Seeing the clarity of his vision and the sharpness of his mind, Pharaoh elevates Joseph to a position of remarkable power. He appoints him as the second in command in Egypt, entrusting him with the monumental task of preparing the nation for the impending seven years of famine. In the ancient world, this move was nothing short of extraordinary. Here was a foreigner, a Hebrew, who had been imprisoned on false charges, now rising to the zenith of Egyptian power. It was a testament to Joseph's character and divine favor that he was able to navigate the complexities of this foreign court and earn the trust of the most powerful man in Egypt. And so Joseph, once a prisoner, now stood as the steward of Egypt's future, responsible for ensuring its survival in the face of a looming crisis. So Joseph, the Hebrew prisoner, became Joseph, the ruler of Egypt. What can we take away from Genesis chapter 41? Genesis 41 is a whirlwind of events, each more significant than the last. The chapter opens with Pharaoh's dreams, two vivid and unsettling visions that none could interpret. Then enters Joseph, a man of wisdom and faith, who interprets these dreams as divine prophecies of seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine. His interpretation not only brings clarity, but also a strategic plan that saves Egypt from the impending crisis. Joseph's rise to power is nothing short of extraordinary. From the pit to the palace, his life is a testament to resilience. It's a story that shows us that even in the face of adversity, one can rise and thrive through wisdom, faith and divine guidance. The themes coursing through this chapter, divine prophecy, wisdom and the rise from adversity, resonate deeply within us.
In the end, Genesis chapter 41 is a testament to faith, resilience and divine guidance, teaching us that even in the worst of circumstances one can rise and thrive.